Well, I was in Georgia this week campaigning for Herschel Walker in his runoff against Raphael Warnock. I'm glad you're happy about that, because I was. I don't know if you know this, but Warnock is a pro-abortion pastor. Now, for me, that's something I just can't understand. How can you be a pastor and stand for the weak and the vulnerable and then think that it is okay to kill the most vulnerable of all, an unborn baby, right up until the time of birth? And having the ever leaning to the loony left Democrats with more seats in the Senate means confirming more wacko judges who say they don't know what a woman is or who believe that we can just keep counting votes until we get the result we want. That's why this race is so important. Last week, I was so glad to have Arizona governor candidate Kerry Lake on our show, but I was so sad that Arizona finally decided after eight days of counting votes that the Democrat Secretary of State Katie Hobbs had miraculously defied the polls and won the race for governor. It sure helped that Katie Hobbs was in charge of running the election and counting the votes. Now, I'd like to think that the people of Arizona are truly embarrassed that it took their state more than a week to count votes. Florida, a much more populous state, the third largest in the country, counted their votes in just a few hours and without any controversy. By the way, so did Georgia. And that's even after Stacey Abrams said that voting law reforms would suppress voting. It turns out that a record number of people voted in Georgia. So much for suppressing voters. <laughs> Maybe somebody ought to suppress Stacey Abrams and urge her to sit the next one out. Yeah. By the way, I saw something on social media that said that 180 million people were able to vote for American Idol in less than an hour, but Arizona couldn't get it done in eight days. I thought that pretty sums it up, huh? Well, the new label for trying to paint someone as stupid, extreme, or just being certifiably crazy is to call them an election denier. I mean, any candidate who dared question the 2020 election, not saying it was rigged, just questioning if it was all on the up and up, they're considered to be an election denier. Now, the press had the audacity to headline any news story about a very impressive Carrie Lake as election denier Carrie Lake, and then finish the story. It's the equivalent of calling someone a racist, a fascist, homophobe, transphobe, or a threat to democracy. I want you to know, I am absolutely not an election denier because I really do believe we have had elections. Therefore, I don't deny elections. <laughs> I don't deny they happened, but I do wonder about the integrity of a process that takes days and days of looking for and amazingly finding ballots to put a Democrat over the top who was behind. President Trump, this week, he announced he would run for re-election in 2024. <laughs> Big news of the week. You know, I love him and I deeply appreciate what he achieved as president. I really do. No one has ever come through more for energy independence, giving us the lowest fuel prices in decades, cutting stifling regulations on business, securing the border, moving the U.S. Embassy in Israel to Jerusalem, or recognizing the Golan Heights as being part of Israel. He cut taxes on everyone, saw dramatic economic growth until the Chinese unleashed a virus on the world. He gave us the most dramatic turn in the Supreme Court. And he's been the strongest ever president on the sanctity of every human life. Amen. Having recognized all that, I'll be honest, I'm not going to think about engaging in the 2024 race officially until we get that Georgia Senate race behind us. I kind of wish President Trump might have waited until then as well. But, quite frankly, if he hopes to win a second term, I just hope he unites the party by maybe lowering the insults to other Republicans and just focus on restoring civil order to our major cities, stopping the millions pouring across our southern border, and getting us back to affordable and available American energy. But hey, there's plenty of time to sort all that out. There may be some other people running for the Republican nomination against Donald Trump, and you know what? Having a primary, it can be healthy for the party, gets the candidates to get conditioned for the big time. But now that President Trump has said he will be running, I hope he'll spend the next few weeks helping Herschel Walker and every other Republican still out there trying to make sure that all the legal votes are being counted. But one thing I won't do 
One thing I just will not do is to be an election denier. <laughs> because I certainly believe we've had elections. But I also believe there's been some funny stuff happening in some of these states. And I wonder if the people there deny that. If so, I'll call them election scandal deniers. And that ain't no compliment. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Since you're still here, let me share something with you. If you click on the subscribe button below, hit that notification bell next to it, and click the like button, you know what that's going to do? Virtually guarantee that you don't turn into an AOC fanatic. Do it now before it's too late.